Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to show you how you can format your new Western Digital My Passport so that you can use it back and forth between both a Mac computer and a Windows computer. So, I was fortunate enough to receive a 500GB Western Digital My Passport for Christmas yesterday, and I was looking on the box and I'm like, hooray, a new 500GB external hard drive, this is exactly what I wanted, and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm looking around the box and I see this little message on it that says, formatted for NTFS which means formatted for Windows XP, Vista, and 7, which means that the device is formatted for only Windows. And there was a little notification on here that said, needs reformatting to be used with a Mac. So I thought, yeah, I have a Mac, but I also have a PC, and I want to see if I can switch files between both computers, as well as I use a whole bunch of other computers, whether it be at school or just going on somebody else's computer. I use both Macs and PCs a whole lot in my daily life. So what do I want to do? I want to format this hard drive so I can carry around my files and use them on any type of computer. So how do you go ahead and do this? Well, there's a quick and easy fix. So as you noticed before, it said formatted for NTFS, and it needs for reformatting to be used on Mac OS X. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be formatting this drive to be used on the same format that normal USB thumb drives are used on. So normal USB thumb drives, if you notice, can be used between both Macs, PCs, and Linux computers, and they are formatted on a file format called FAT32, which is a universal file format that can basically be used on any system. It's recognized by a whole bunch of systems. So to go ahead and do this, I recommend when you go ahead and try to format your drive, you have your drive empty with nothing on it because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be erasing the drive to reformat it to a different format. So I'm going to be using a Mac to reformat this, but you can follow some of the same steps on Windows. You just need to not use the same method that I did. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our drive plugged into our computer and then again it's best to do this if you don't have any data on the drive because if you have some data on the drive it's going to erase this data. So make sure your drive is connected to the computer and if you're on a Mac we're going to go up to Spotlight up here and we're going to type in Disk Utility to go ahead and launch up Disk Utility. As you can see here, here's Disk Utility and then we're going to go ahead and click on our hard drive and then we're going to go over to the Erase tab right here and we're going to set the file format to MS DOS and then in parentheses it should say FAT. And this is just how Disk Utility recognizes the FAT32 file format. So once you have that set there, go ahead and name your drive to whatever you have. As you notice, mine is already named Nick's drive. And then go ahead and click the Erase button right here. And it shouldn't actually take that long to erase the drive. It only took me a couple seconds. But just remember, don't have any data on it. If you're erasing the drive and you already have some data on it, it's going to take a little while to reformat. But then once that's done, it should appear right over here. You can click on it. Again, mine's Nick's drive. And as you can see here, it is file formatted under FAT32. And so then I can go ahead and open it up, start importing all my files and basically dragging all my files to the device. And then I can go ahead and plug it into my Mac or plug it into my PC and be able to access any of my files. So all right, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Again, there's going to be a whole bunch of different methods you could do to go ahead and get this done but this is just the little method that I'm showing you right now hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and until next time goodbye